That's cool. I don't think she's woken up yet. No. Right. Don't out Emma on live TV, on live radio. <laughs> It's not live. <laughs> now Emma on, on live radio. I can do what I want. I'm just going to occasionally press the live button just in case it changes its mind. You swear this episode. Are we good? Uh, but you'd just give me editing problems. Well, no, I mean, I wouldn't because, like... It's not working for now, though, Rob. What have you done? Why can't you just tell them it's broken? Tell them it's not going live. But we've managed to find a way because to record it. We thought it was working. Just... It's not working. Right, okay. I'm just going to do the introduction because time is money, my friend. And uh, that's all I got. So. Right. Are you paying attention, sir? Yes. Okay, I was hoping you weren't because I've got to actually find it. Okay. Are we going to do this seriously now? Yeah. Do it properly? Okay. So, you want me to turn the microphones down? They're being quite high. They are the exact same as they have been before. Mm. Bob? <laughs> Bob, I've changed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right, go. Fine, 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 fine. But look, now we can't hear each other. Ooh. Okay, well, yes, okay, stop uh, talking about them. <laughs> I told you. Okay, um, the Virgin Queen. Gay. Gloriana. Good Queen Bess. It could only be one person, really, and that's the one, the only Elizabeth I. I'm Emily, this is Rob. What about Lady Jane Grey? How would that be, Lady Jane Grey? Is she married? Gloriana. Yeah, all right, but that's Good just a Queen nickname. Bess. That's a nickname. <laughs> okay, anyway. And this is Off the Archive. <laughs> Ever wanted to know some juicy secrets about the second Queen of England, or fourth, depending on who you ask? Well, buckle up, because it's about to get saucy, as saucy as Wikipedia will allow. I liked that intro. Da, you da, you da, like da, Wikipedia, da. that's the problem. Like, um, uh, the problem with the mics I'm having right now is that if I turn it down ever so slightly, it's like the sound disappears. Mine doesn't. So, really I'm just not going to touch it. Right. Was saucy a poor choice of words? I think saucy was the choice of words you went with. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, Rob, what do you know about Queen Liz? Um, about six things. Six things? About six things. I know she was ginger. Okay, that's one. Um, I know that... Well, she she didn't invent lead makeup, she just wore a lot of it. Is that what killed her? I don't know. What did kill Queen Beth? Uh... Bessie. Can I call her Bessie for a moment of this episode? Uh, I, thought, I thought it was like smallpox or something it's always smallpox I thought she had smallpox and then got rid of it and so she was all scarred up and shit yes yeah, she wants to be fair uh, I don't know I didn't look that up no one knows no one knows what killed Elizabeth I it's a mystery to all the historians specifically us you look so concerned. I'm just so angry. <laughs> and the fact that I can't get this to the work. Fact, this episode is preluded, preceded by the fact that we've spent 15 minutes trying to make the technology work because somebody came in and broke it. Yeah. Well, um, I said we. I sat here and whistled and Emily tried to fiddle with wires. <laughs> Emily did okay. <laughs> Rob tried to help for... Ooh, ooh, my, my headphones did a weird thing there. Um, ooh, it's very loud now. Oh, I do see what you mean. Oh no, because the sound still immediately stop disappears. Stop pissing you. about with the microphone. I'm just trying to make things work. <laughs> anyway. None of this is going in. We're cutting all of this. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> do you want the first fact? We well, might as well. Sure, Barrel on. Me. Barrel on. Um, nothing okay. is wrong. I, I just put this in because I found this music because I think it sums her up this as a person. Entire, this is entire show. Do you know what her motto was? Can I... I can't swear. No. <laughs> no swearing. Well, technically we're not live, but you'll just make my life harder when I have to edit um, this. Was it... I hate Spain? It wasn't a hate Spain. Would it, yeah, wouldn't it have been brilliant if everyone had been like, what's your motto, Elizabeth? Bessie, <laughs> Bessie old girl. And she'd have been like, I hate Spain. <laughs> no. It was, um, I'm going to pronounce this last in the way it should be pronounced, okay? I know some people who are in the church will be like, it's a V like a V, but it's not, it's a V like a W, so we're getting what we what we got here. It's, uh, it was Wideo et Takeo. Widow's attacking. No, Wideo. Yeah. So, like, video et Takeo, which is, I see, but I say nothing. 
That's a weird motto for someone who's in charge. <laughs> very weird. <laughs> it's very suspect. But if you think about, you know, everything she ever did, it kind of makes sense. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I see, but I say nothing. I see Mary, Queen of Scots, going to the uh, scaffold, but I say nothing. Hang on. I see the Spanish Armada, and I say many things. <laughs> that was, okay, the one exception to prove the rule. Okay, right. Ready for another fact? Hit me. Slightly more juicy? Hit me. Yeah, I think you'll know this, because you're an early modern historian, right? Supposedly. Supposedly. These Even days I'm a modern American historian, which I resent. <laughs> One of these days we're going to do, like, Martin Luther King, and I'll, I'll, I'll do that episode. That's but good. will you? No, I won't. No, you won't. I won't do that episode. You'll just but sit I'll, there. I'll sit here and mock Emily the fact she's wrong. Okay, wow. Okay, right. In 1570, the Pope declared her illegitimate and released her subjects from obedience to her, meaning they could literally kill her and it wouldn't be considered regicide as it's far weird, as the Pope is concerned. It's yeah. a whack thing. But apparently, I was reading, it's, it's because he thought, I can't remember what it was exactly, I think he either thought she'd been overthrown or that she'd died. <laughs> so he didn't think it mattered that much. And then, like, I did not know that. Yeah, he, he, like, he like did it because he thought she was dead or something. This, is, this was quite early on. Yeah. So well, 1570, just... no, she took over in 1558. Yeah, but, like, she doesn't die for, like, Until 1603? Yeah, something like that. James comes mm. down in 1604, so that's So, yeah, 1603 makes sense. Um, yeah. I guess Catholics just... As far as the Pope is concerned... You're allowed to kill the Queen. Well, you're not allowed to kill it because you murder is still murder is still murder. But what I'm saying is is that as far as the Pope is concerned, if you kill Elizabeth the First, it's not regicide. It's just murder. It's just murder. That's still hell forever. It's still hell. This was bullshit. <laughs> but you are allowed to like um, overthrow her, and as far as he's concerned, it's not. Uh, so heresy. you're allowed to overthrow her, and you're allowed to imprison her. Yeah, I guess. Were you allowed to punch the Queen? Um, I don't... Let me get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still sound? Am I allowed to punch the Queen? I don't think you're allowed to punch the Does Queen. Anyone ever I don't know if it still stands. Has anyone, has anyone ever rescinded it? Has the Pope ever I been like... I assume my Pope okay, rescinded it. I didn't mean all Because it was queens, only about her. Anyway. It was specifically for yeah, her. Yeah, but like... We could call it precedent, couldn't we? It would be Reg Regiana... I don't know what Elizabeth is in Latin. Elizabeth. It's not going to be Elizabeth. Could be, you don't know. Emily in Latin is Amelia, right? To yeah. give you an idea of Elizab how different it's going to be. It might be Elizabetha or something. Elizabethina. It's, uh, it's like um, Henri Rex. Anyway, right? Stop this talking about relevant. Latin. This is not the this Latin relevant. episode. <laughs> okay, okay, this is okay. why okay, I'm okay. here. If, if Emily had a radio show on her own, it would, it would just literally be just words. be Welcome. <laughs> To Latin with Emily. Today, boring stuff no one cares about. It would definitely just be about random bits of etymology I've it picked would, up. Uh, it would just be like, do you know where the word radio comes from? <laughs> it would. Episode, Honestly, I could tell like, you, but you're not long. interested. <laughs> no one is interested. Oh, I care. Anyway, right, okay. Um, did you know she was named after both of her grandmothers? Bonus points if you can name them. Elizabeth and Elizabeth. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what were their actual names? Oh. Um, okay, they think it's getting a bit loud, so I'm gonna just tentatively turn it down. Um, Liz and mm -hmm. Beth. No, like obviously the names are Elizabeth. You, you, know. you, well. you knobhead. <laughs> what I'm saying you have to cut that out. is that who were they? <laughs> Okay, right, so if she is Elizabeth I, then her mother is Catherine of Aragon. No. No, she her mother is <laughs> Oh um, my god. The one, Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Anne Boleyn, yeah. Forget about Mary, I honestly do. Okay, th can I point out that when I was little I was absolutely obsessed with the Tudors, so I know like a lot that there is to know. But Rob Mr. Early Modernist yeah, should care. know something about... Until James shows up, if I'm honest. Okay, wow. I right. The Tudors are kind of dull. How dare you? They I'm are. Just, just carry on. Okay, so who is... So Anne Boleyn. So Anne Boleyn's... Anne Boleyn's mother... mother must have been Mrs. Boleyn. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Boleyn. Well, her, her name... Well, we'll get to her in a minute. Who's Henry's mother? 
Henry's mother would have been Henry the Seventh's wife. Would yes. Oh, my I God. Care. I don't care. <laughs> I think I just burst the volume by how mad I am at that. <laughs> Uh, okay. Who was Henry VII's wife? Henry the Seventh's wife was Edward the Fourth's daughter, Elizabeth of York. Uh, she is also the woman who, on the playing cards, the Queen is based on. Really? Elizabeth of York, yeah. Right. Does Elizabeth that of York like is one of them. Game of Thrones pack that I've got. Is it like... Shut up. <laughs> right, okay, Elizabeth of York is one of them. Yeah. The other one is Elizabeth, Elizabeth Howard. Oh. Because remember, Elizabeth Howard's niece was Catherine Howard, who was um, Henry VIII's fifth, fifth wife. wife. And That's her weird. daughter was Anne Boleyn, who was Henry VIII's uh, second wife. I don't like that. I can't remember if it's exact cousins or if she's like second cousins, but they are cousins. Can you imagine being Catherine Howard in that situation and three wives ago... Who well, was both big. of them got beheaded. Yeah. They're idiots. It's just not, that family. He did not, not like them. Really not a fan of that family. That makes much more sense now that they're, now they're related. If you're yeah. like, okay, maybe at that annoying well, To be fair, genetic. I mean, Catherine Howard was 19, so a little leeway. But she did sleep with a lot of men and expect it not to... Like, Anne Boleyn, it's like, it's not sure whether she slept with other men. Catherine Howard definitely did, and it was a bit stupid. She was 19 married to a 50-year-old. She right? was, and he was fat, and he did have a lot of gowns. And he did smell, I imagine. Um, but yeah, Everyone did still. at that point. Okay, moving on. We're getting distracted. I'm not getting distracted at <laughs> the point of this show. No. <laughs> I have a lot of facts to get through, and we only have 45 minutes. Um, okay, right. Uh, she was considered, Elizabeth, this is, we've gone back to Elizabeth, the point of the show. She's considered to be one of the most educated women of her generation. That's not Guess difficult. how many languages she spoke. Okay, right. English. Mm-hmm. I believe Scottish, the Scots still existed, but I doubt she spoke Though I have to be it. honest, I haven't counted English on this list. So she spoke more than the learned. She spoke more. She spoke one more than what I'm about to say. Okay, we'll just add that then. Um, French, presumably. Mm-hmm. Spanish, presumably. No, uh, not Spanish. Oh not no, she did speak Spanish. Spanish. She did speak Spanish. I okay. take that back. I take okay. that back. She spoke Spanish. Right. So French um, and Spanish. French and Spanish. Italian. Is it Italian? Is it Italian? Italian. Yeah. yeah. She spoke Italian. That would make sense. Latin. Latin. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to say you speak Latin, but she didn't she indeed have a working. That. Knowledge of it. Greek, I Greek, yeah. Uh, I'm out of old languages. Five. You're out. say five. It was including English. Including English. Eleven. Whoa. So she spoke those, as you said, French, which makes sense. Her her yeah. mother spoke fluent French, so makes sense. Uh, not that her mother was around to teach her. No. But it makes sense that they'd make her learn it. I imagine. Um, yeah, exactly. So. Although well, she might want to. French, Flemish. Okay. Good point. Italian. Yeah. Spanish, yeah. Latin, yeah. Greek, mm-hmm. Welsh, Cornish, yeah. Scottish, and Irish. Apparently, she was very good at Scottish. Uh, Cornish, sorry. Really? Yeah. I forget Cornwall has its own language. So I assume by Scottish and Irish they mean Gaelic. Well, I mean well, Scottish and Irish Gaelic. Yeah, there's yeah. Because Scottish and Irish aren't languages. No, it would be good. It would be good fun if we. <laughs> yeah. Ach, I even knew. Bordering on <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. I, I have Scottish ancestry. It's That's, chill. That, 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 that I have a excuse. tartan. Yeah. Mm, do you, Mr. Tar- Tartans were invented in the 1800s, and we all know that. <laughs> tartans from the McLeod clan, tar- which is the same, I believe, as David Tennant. All of this is a lie. It's not a lie. It's a lie. It's a Victorian lie. I, mean, I can't. Tartans are You lies. can't prove that. Tartan you lines. can't go back and Tartans argue with my Victorian were also uh, invented in ancestors. England, which is <laughs> they were invented in Yorkshire, which I imagine upsets the Scottish. I imagine it does, and yet they still wear them. They still wear them because no one's told them. Okay, are we doing another fact? This yeah. is quick fire. This it is, is not... quick fire because they get juicy from now on. Quick, go, go, go. These were just like boring. Like, oh, isn't that interesting? And now it's like weird. Okay. Okay. Did she have sex with a horse? No. When are we doing Captain the Great? <laughs> when she pops up <laughs> on the... Okay, no, no, no. We're here to talk about her weird relationship with Thomas Seymour. Yay. Do you know who Thomas Seymour is? Kind of. Tell me who he is then. He's an advisor, isn't he? He is one of the advisors. The so there's Ed... I believe it's Edward Seymour and Thomas Seymour. And Edward Seymour's the oldest... The older yeah. one. Who are they in relation to the royal family? 
Um, I don't know if they're part of the royal family. Are they sort of directly linked to the royal family? Yes. I did not know that. Okay, so Thomas Seymour and Edward Seymour, if his name is Edward, I have to keep tugging my microphone because it keeps uh, going. Not my microphone, um, my headphones. Anyway, that's irrelevant. <laughs> it's just explaining it to Rob this more than a, you. This is a weird episode. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm like, so stressed. We're in such a weird headspace right now because we've spent 15 <laughs> minutes trying to <laughs> fix wires, yep. none of which were plugged in where they were supposed to be. No, no, no. Right, okay, so Edward and Thomas Seymour are Jane Seymour's brothers. Who was Jane Seymour, Rob? The third one. The third wife, third the one wife. who died in childbirth, yeah, yeah, yeah. giving birth Edward's, to who? Edward the Sixth, yeah. So they are Edward the Sixth's uncles. Mm hmm. Okay, this is where it gets a little complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's like, he's really important. Yeah. Edward Seymour. I don't think Thomas Seymour is. Hmm. Well, he is, but I mean, he's doing. I'll, I'll explain it to you. Yeah. He goes a bit weird. Um, so Thomas Seymour, after Henry VIII's death, mm -hmm. marries Catherine Parr. Cool. So oh. Catherine Parr is Henry VIII's Yay. sixth wife. Okay, the last one, the one who yeah, survived. I know. People might not. People know. <laughs> there might be someone who knows nothing, so I'm just explaining. Um, right, so Thomas Seymour, keep this keep this in your mind, Thomas Seymour, Edward's uncle, marries Catherine Parr, um, and they move into a house, and <laughs> Elizabeth comes to stay with them. Adorable. It's not. Oh. Unadorable. <laughs> so... <laughs> so <laughs> So he's just super weird. Right. He's 40 years old. Okay. She How old is Catherine Parr. Catherine Parr is in her late 40s, I okay. think. Okay. She's, she's pregnant at the time. Okay. Um, okay. With his, not Henry's. Yes. Um, Henry okay. was not doing anything. No, at that point. No. Uh, no. So, so she's pregnant with this child. They invite the 14 year old Elizabeth to come and stay with them. Odd. Uh, no, because they're they're related to the king, you know. They're just taking care of the princess, who's technically not a pr you know, yeah. in the whatever. She's hanging around. She's hanging around. She's kind of getting in the way of Edward, if we're honest. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> Edward hasn't died yet. <laughs> so there are reports that Thomas, yeah. in his nightgown, used to go into her room at night time and tickle her and slap her on the buttocks. <laughs> Why do we have these reports? Uh, why are you so far away from the microphone, Rob? I don't know. <laughs> but I feel um, like what I'm doing right now is creating as much distance between me and the fact that you just said that. Yeah, so it gets worse. Okay. So sometimes apparently Catherine Parr also was involved in this. Now, I have I cannot speak for Catherine Parr. I have no idea if she thought it was just... Weird. Horseplay, you know? It's just a joke. You didn't mean anything. Or if she was like... What I can probably say for certain is that she was not encouraging of him sleeping with Elizabeth. I will get there in a minute. Anyway, so there are examples of her, like, holding Elizabeth back while he slices her dress with scissors into a thousand pieces. as like a fun game. Well, I assume it's a game because she's clearly not here for him sleeping with her because when... Catherine Parr caught Thomas in an embrace with Elizabeth. An embrace. An embrace. An embrace. Indeed, yes. I indeed. have no idea what that means. I think we all know what that means. I've read a few uh, flipping um, uh, historical fictions where we all know what that means. <laughs> but like, she's like 14, right? Gross. Uh, Catherine Parr, the heavily pregnant Catherine Parr, yes. uh, sends Elizabeth away. Bad. Basically. Um, so I don't... It's hard to say. Maybe she was okay with him flirting with Elizabeth, but when he's like got close to sleeping with her she thought it was too far or maybe she was genuinely just like this is all fun and games and then I was like it's not fun and games anymore <laughs> um okay either way, so why the Catherine Parr is um I don't know I suppose she's heavily pregnant at this time we can give her missing some things but on the other hand I think I mean a lot of the time she's sort of portrayed as being so happy because he's her fourth husband being so happy to have finally found a man that she actually fancies yeah. and wants to and marry, that queen. she just doesn't want to see it. And then when she sees it, well, we don't know that he's that close to We don't know. We that. all know what the word embrace means. <sighs> Look, <laughs> it's lost to time. It's not lost to time. But, it is um, well recorded it's, by uh, time. It's, not, it's not good. It's worth noting that Elizabeth staunchly denied everything. Um, 
So who does the report come from then? So the thing is, right, eventually Thomas was beheaded. <laughs> okay, Thomas was beheaded for trying to marry Elizabeth. Okay, because what happens is Catherine Park goes into labour, right? Mm-hmm. Has the baby, dies in childbirth. Oh. Oh. The baby cha- uh, baby dies a few days after or something. Oh. Um, yeah, it doesn't end well for Catherine. It's a depressing episode. Uh, so Thomas uh, tries to marry Elizabeth. So the now 45-year-old Thomas. I'd say 41, so maybe. 41. She's 15. Okay. Around that age. I don't know. I forget the details. And I forget who the him? Uh, Edward's government. Ah. Because it's not that they care that he's trying to marry a 15-year-old or whatever. No. They care that if he marries her, their children You'll might have be a threat. legitimate to the throne, yes. Yeah. Um, Valid. So he does try to marry her and he gets murdered um but it's worth noting she yeah as i said denies everything including the marriage including well she denied any of the escapades she denied wanting to marry him she denied everything um and it is some people think that the reason she might not have got married later is because he kind of traumatized her well, this this was not fun. This was not a fun fact. Yeah, it's weird. It's <laughs> depressive. It's weird. So now it's good Queen Bess, the traumatised Queen. <laughs> Possibly. Yeah. Um, it's it's like... Well, I think that's interesting because no one ever talks about that. That she might have been... Severely traumatised. Severely traumatised. PTSD, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, but, like, it's it's hard to say because they didn't have such terms in... They only had the term in Paris. The 1500s, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's also so dark. We have a fun fact. Okay, now. right. You probably know this. Philip II of Spain. Who's Philip II of Spain? Philip II of Spain is King of Spain. You're so useless. He's who really is he? Who is he in relation to the English royal family? Well, okay, no, he tries... Well, no, he does marry Mary. He is married to Mary the First, yes. Married to Mary the First, and Mary the First dies. Oh, no, we're all sad. Mm-hmm. Except we're not. Right. And what does he are. try to do? Invade. No. He does. Okay. Yes, he does, but not, not, that's not what I was going for. Well, he I mean, tries to marry Elizabeth as yes. well. Yes, okay, yes. Um, was solidly rejected. Yes. Like, straight up. PTSD. Straight up. Um, but it's worth knowing he also, found... he was Spanish. What's her motto? <laughs> I hate the Spanish. <laughs> Rob. I'm just saying. Rob. <laughs> he's never going to go anywhere. <laughs> Clearly not listening but to her. But it's interesting. He considered her the sister of his dead wife of the country of England, which the Spanish are known to, you know, not love. No. Um, he still considered her a better choice than the very French, despite her name, Mary Queen of Scots. Mary Queen of Scots was too French for Philip, and he didn't want to marry her. Yeah, the French and the Spanish, who should really have been getting on in this period, really did not get on. Well, no, because the Scottish and French really did, though. Yeah, well, they always have. Goals. They don't really, I don't know what they have for that. Maybe during Scottish independence, that'll come back, and they'll like, the I Scottish mean, will be bezies with the French. It makes me so mad. I want to be Bessie. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, so that's fun. Um, she is also one of the first people to adopt the medieval political theology of the two bodies. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's the body, of the body of the royal and the body of the state itself. The Yeah, it's that thing. Close. <laughs> Close. That's it. Close. So in this case, it's the body natural versus the body politic. Yeah. So it's slightly different in Elizabeth the first case what because it's it? about her actual physical vagina. Yes. Rather than her, like, um, so, her as a royal. Yeah. So, yeah, she was, obviously, you get the famous speech, I know um, I have the body of a weak and feeble woman. But I have the heart and stomach of a concrete elephant, to quote Blackadder. <laughs> That's I not was there. the actual I speech. Was there, <laughs> if I remembered that speech wrong, oh, well, that, that's much better. That's the Blackadder. I know version. that, I love that. Bit. Um, yeah, but it, the actual version is like, but I have the heart and stomach of a king, yes. the king of England, yes. too. So, what she was realistically saying is that I may have a vagina. Yes. But I hate spinning. Yes. And that makes me just as good as my <laughs> father. I hate Spain as much as everyone else. Like she used to use her red hair like, look how similar I am to my daddy. Don't, please never say that on radio ever again. That it's really not live. It does, doesn't matter. It doesn't good. matter. I can see whatever I want. This is YouTube now. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Um, subscribe to PewDiePie. Okay. She did most likely fall in... Did you just I say did. that? I did. I'm going to but have I, to plan I, that. I, 
<laughs> right, anyway. She was most likely in love with Robert Dudley. Yes. So she did fall in love. Um, but he may or may not have pushed his wife down the stairs. I did hear this. Which made things a bit tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's kind of... You realistically... Surely you have to, you know, we've got to make sure that she's into it before you push your wife downstairs. Well, she was into it. Yeah, but she wasn't going to do He didn't it. necessarily push his wife downstairs. He did, his, We don't know. Yeah, did. His wife... Do- stop, stop putting your modern perceptions <laughs> onto history. That's illegal. <laughs> That's um, illegal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so his wife died by falling down the stairs. She had been ill anyway. Yes. From breast cancer, I believe. Ill enough so that if she was at the top of the stairs, it would not take much to push her all the way down. <laughs> Look, she would have died anyway. This mm. is what I'm saying. It doesn't make much sense that he'd murder her when she was going to die anyway. Well, she was getting better when she was there. Being like, oh, you don't get better from breast cancer in the 1500s. <laughs> Miracle. <laughs> Shut up, Rob. <laughs> 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 Be quiet. Anyway, um, yes. Uh, so after that, Everyone was a wee bit suspicious. I mean, you would be. And he wasn't allowed to marry Elizabeth anyway. So it's Can kind you of imagine you get into all that trouble of pushing the <laughs> Oh, goodness. She really does have the weirdest man going after her. Okay, so we've got Philip II of Spain, who yep. is her sister's husband. Widower, yeah. Who, mm-hmm. by all accounts, is a bit weird. Yeah, a little bit weird. Well, he's a ham- is he a Habsburg? Yeah, he's a Habsburg. Yeah, so he's kind of that weird lot. Yeah. <gasps> um, we've got... The wife, the husband of her father's last wife. Her stepmother. Her stepmother. Yeah. Who is... Her stepmother's new husband. By all accounts, weird. Yeah. Uh, Oh, and her half-brother's uncle. Don't forget that. And her half-brother's uncle, who is, uh, by all accounts, weird. Yeah. Um, And that's pretty much it. So the fact that she never got married... Hey, Rob. Yes. Hey, do you want to, like... Fix my headphones. What again. have you done? Nothing. They just fall out. Oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, yes, yeah, super weird. Um, Rob can still hear me, but he can't say anything now. So I get to to talk uh, for a while. If you talk about etymology, I will kill you. I'm not going to talk about etymology. Um, so she she Elizabeth did a weird thing where her, her uh, she was like, well, if I can't marry him, I'm going to set him up with Mary, Queen of Scots. Uh, no, that's not worked. Don't that headphones because these ones aren't real. Like. Pass me one then. We'll try. We'll see. Ooh, exciting developments in the uh, studio. Emily tries new. No, those ones don't work this at all. Okay, hang on. Where are they? Are they just not plugged in? I mean, highly possible. Oh, oh, they they are plugged in, but they again are very. Uh, no. No. <laughs> you have to keep talking we have okay, to produce okay, content okay 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 uh, okay well that's not that's going to work Rob I've solved it don't steal my headphones <laughs> I've solved the problem <laughs> yeah, okay, so now we only have one pair of working headphones in here okay excellent um, ideal Right. Okay, so now I can't hear whether or not this is working. No. It shuts my microphone up on the Yeah, but I'm the one who needs to know because I'm next to the twiddly <laughs> things. Anyway, right, getting back on track. So, yeah, she tried to set him up with Mary, Queen of Scots. Yeah. Didn't work. Neither of them were into it. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's fun. And then he married someone he did like, a lady called Lettuce. Lettuce Nollis. That was a valid name. No, it wasn't. Days. Um, but he was... She was... She hated her so much that she banned her from court for her life. Why? What for? For marrying him. Without her consent. Did you have to... I mean... I, you, yeah, you had to get the okay, king... Okay, I know approval. you have to ask... How high up in the government do you have to be before you have to ask queen? No, you I have to... It's not the government. It's the, the, it's the it's the, it's the noble, nobleman. Yeah, but how... Like, there are levels of noblemen. I think it's anyone from, like, Marquis almost, I think. So, like, if you were there being, like... A low-level duke. In He's the a count, of England, I think. Could be like, well, you know. Yeah, she doesn't really care. But if you're in her court, like she cares. Okay. And uh, and if you're her ex-love of her yeah, life, yeah, that, that was rude. Um. So yeah. So she banned her completely from court, and she, she was she never allowed to go as back. Well? No. No. Just her. Um. It's it's weird because lettuce actually looks quite a lot like Elizabeth the First. 
She has like the big red hair and the beautiful Ooh, style. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's telling. Ooh. See, you anyway, definitely pushed this one. Something that. sweet though. When Elizabeth died, they found a letter from him in her most personal belongings, um, which she'd written on. So it was in her handwriting. His last letter. It's kind of pure. Is it pure? It's also kind of weird. It is kind of weird. And on the other hand, she did ban his wife from court. Though. Yeah, she did ban his wife from court. I think it's kind of sweet though. I think that's sweet. Anyway, we have a lot to get to. So okay, <laughs> so so far we have a PTSD ridden queen who has yeah, yeah, yeah. slept with no one, maybe, yeah. and has four different men, all of whom are weird. Oh, it gets it gets better. Yeah. I, I this is my favourite. So she had a lot of foreign suitors, obviously, yes. trying to make alliances with uh, England. Um, she considered a Habsburg, Ugh. but when the English-Austrian relations deteriorated, she turned to Henry, Duke of Anjou, and then his brother Francis. She took the latter seriously, but she did call him her frog. <laughs> and in response, he sent her a frog-shaped earring that she would wear from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> so he took it in his stride. I quite like that. That's quite sweet. Yeah, she didn't marry him though. No. She realistically, I don't know if she could. She, I don't know if she was never going to marry anyone, or if she was just real picky, or if she was traumatized forever. But the, point, the, the real story of this, of her entire life, is people trying to marry her and her almost marrying them and then changing her mind. Yep. She she also often wrote to Ivan the Terrible. They were on amicable terms. Can you imagine being on amicable terms with Ivan the Terrible? What a crossover. <laughs> the crossover episode, Ivan the um, Terrible. And he once even proposed to her. She said no. Was it like on a beach in Russia? I have no idea. A beach in Russia? No. Russia has beaches. Yeah, okay, but you go to... Apparently you're not allowed to swim in them because of all the nuclear waste. Really? Yeah. <laughs> France is the time. Not in the 1500s. Yeah. And that's true. <clears throat> They're probably fine in the 1500s. Um... Yeah, he wasn't the. Uh, the problem was his son didn't like her. I think his name was Fedor, and he didn't like her, and he didn't so, want to keep up trade agreements, so they just lost contact. Okay, so Ivan the Terrible. Yep. Chilling out with Elizabeth. Yep. Proposes to her. Mm -hmm. She says no. Mm -hmm. And then they just lose contact, like, you yeah. know, and then their friend anniversary comes up on Facebook, and she, you know, doesn't do anything about that. You know, and it's sort of. Yeah. Pretty That's much. so weird. I forget that Ivan the Terrible and Elizabeth are even existing on the same yeah, planet. Yeah, I know, it's weird. But alone at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Who else um, is around this time? Well, she also had good relations with the Sultan Murad the Third. Okay. Seriously considered allying with the Ottoman Empire against I have Spain. Heard this. She's very pro that she likes the Ottomans. Yeah. Um, he once said in their correspondence that Protestantism and Islam were closer to each other than Catholicism was to either of them because they both abhorred idols. Which was controversial at the time. <clears throat> anyway, she exported tin to the Ottoman Empire. That's a fun fact. There you go, that's a fun <laughs> Why fact. Why is it that whenever we export anything, it's always crap? Tin. It's always just like... Tin wasn't crap in the time. Tin, what? tin is a crap thing. To, when they're giving you paprika, tin is a crap thing to give in return. Mm. Do you want my, my last saucy fact? Yes, hit me. She had so many teeth missing from rot and decay that ambassadors struggled to understand what she was saying. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Savage. So, in there this... She is. Yep. The PTSD suffering queen caught in an embrace at the age of 14. Who then... I shouldn't laugh, it's so grim. It's real grim. That real was a grim, grim. That was a grim opening to this episode. Shut up. <laughs> and then, has a lot of men. All of them are weird. Mm -hmm. Some of them weirder than others. Me, yeah. Simon the Terrible. Yep. Thinks pretty fit. I don't think she did. I would think he met her and was like, hmm, pretty fit. Yeah. I mean, I date Ivan the Terrible. How terrible was Ivan the Terrible? He was the one who speared people, wasn't he? he was I thought pretty that was terrible. Matthew oh, you're right. Yeah. Because I heard that Ivan the Terrible was like a bad translation of Ivan the like, Terrific or something. And people have just translated it badly to be like Ivan the Terrible. That's still better than Ethelred the Unready. Yeah. Or like there's like Louis the Fat, I think, in yeah, France. Yeah, there comes a certain point with European monarchs where you just, you just like playground nicknames, and it? it's quite yeah. rude. Yeah. I don't think we really do that in this country. Not really. I mean, we do, it's not Elizabeth. It's not the Virgin Queen, I suppose. Yeah, but they're all like nice. <laughs> James, James doesn't really have one. <clears throat> there's none that are like. Hmm. Charles the Fat. 
Oh, I suppose you have Georgie Porgy. Have you heard that rhyme? Yeah. The Georgie Porgy pudding some pie kisses the girls that makes them cry. But when the boys come out to play, Georgie Porgy runs away. He was king. <laughs> he was. It's kind of weird. <laughs> he was fat though, and therefore children can laugh at him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Was Elizabeth fat? Do we know this? Is that like? I think fat? she got fat. She got old and fat. She got old, to be fair. I mean, her father was Henry VIII. She was gonna. Okay, I mean that's not necessarily true. I mean, it's pretty... She did import a lot of sugar. That's why all her teeth fell out. We don't know what, uh... We don't know what, uh, her mother aged like, so it's hard to that, say. I mean, okay, well, her mother didn't really do much aging. That's what I mean. That was my point. But it wasn't this, like, oh, we don't know what her mother aged like, so if it was lost to history. She had her head cut off. <laughs> right, should we do the, uh... Any last thoughts on this for the first... In this very, very rushed podcast? This very, very rushed podcast in which Emily had the plague... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. So I think we've we've learned something new today. So now what we're gonna do? Because we actually have a list of a hundred names. We now. do now. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna just find a number. Gen- you have no idea how we sat there, both of us, bitterly coming up with a hundred different names as we lost the last one. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was a struggle. Number generator. This is very high tech. I have a big spinny wheel here. <laughs> uh, max is a hundred. Right, generate. Can we try and leave Europe this time? I'm trying. Look, we just, we just, we just do what the numbers tell us, unless the numbers are very close. Unless the numbers, yeah. Unless we get James. <sighs> okay, we can't do that one. Seventy-three was Mary Shelley, and that's 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 too close. Yeah, that's another white. It's lady. another. It's another white lady. Please. Nineteen. That's gonna be a white man. We did all the white men first. <laughs> it's not. <gasps> it's Jean Baptiste Belly. Oh yes. Mm. Okay, so next week. Next week is exciting. Jean Baptiste Belly. going to do a Belly. lot more talking than I am because I don't know about him at all. <laughs> well, you're going to learn. I'm going to learn. It's just going to be a it's teaching episode some, as opposed some... to this, which is well, as opposed to the Lenin episode, which was make fun of Lenin, and this episode, which was. I don't know. Rush through as many facts as we could think of about Elizabeth I. They were interesting facts. They, they didn't really diss facts. my facts, son. <laughs> Sunny <Sunny> Jim. <laughs> <laughs> there we are then. Next week. Jean Baptiste Belly. I'm not even going to try. John. Next week. Is no, John. come on, Jean. Jean. Baptiste. Baptiste. Belly. Belly. Mm-hmm. John. Next week. John. <laughs> the French hate you in this <laughs> It will be interesting. Anyway, this was lovely. We had a solid uh, 30 minutes together. Oh, my God. Is that that's right? That's why we rushed through it. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not right. My maths is so wrong. In fact, that maths was appalling. Was we right. had a solid 40 minutes together. I'm sure it was pretty good. <laughs>